Even though the sport of lacrosse has become the fastest growing game in the world, most people who play it are unfamiliar with the story behind it. Lacrosse was originated in Canada by the Eastern Woodlands Native American tribe. This sport was originally called stickball, but had various other names throughout different tribes. The game was then altered by European settlers and brought to North America. In Sports and Religion 103, we focus mostly on the Haudenosaunee tribe. Haudenosaunee are a Native American confederacy that are scattered throughout the Northeast. They are referred to as the people of the Longhouse and made up of six Native American nations. Lacrosse isn't just a sport for the Haudenosaunee, it is a religious activity that is part of their overall culture. There are five main concepts that I want to focus on in this video that will truly capture the origin story of lacrosse. These concepts are the name of the game, the game's powers, the relating terms, the purpose of the game, and the evolution of the game. Lacrosse does not have one definite name. Although it is called lacrosse worldwide, most tribes have their own traditional names that they choose to call it based on their ancestry. For example, the Haudenosaunee, specifically the Onondaga people, call the sport they bump hips. The game was actually named this before it was named lacrosse. The Jesuits were the ones who named the game lacrosse because of the shape of the stick. Another universal name that the tribes accept is called the Creator's Game. Like I mentioned before, lacrosse isn't just a sport, it is a religion for the Haudenosaunee people. But, this is not a religion that involves a church, it's a sacred religion that binds a community. Everyone is connected and involved with the game. Not only is the game given to the Native Americans for their Creator's enjoyment, but it is also a medicine game for healing. This game is said to heal the sick and make the natives stronger as a community. Therefore, this game is less like a competition and more of a way to feel better and gain strength. Many refer to it as a medicine sport, not war. And the harder you play on the field, the better the medicine you will receive from the Creator. Two important terms that we learn throughout the course of this class are hierophany and gift exchange. Hierophany is a manifestation of the sacred. For the Haudenosaunee people, wherever the natives play the sport, it is referred to as the site of hierophany. These fields are a manifestation of the sacred because at the same time as their game, there is another game going on in the Creator's land with the native's ancestors. The next term is called gift exchange. A gift is a talent that is used during a sports game. For the Haudenosaunee people, each game is not a battle but rather a gift exchange between components. Every native is blessed with different gifts from their creator that they use during the game. Hence, there is an exchanging between gifts on the field. Today, most people in America are only concerned with the outcome of the game and the winners. However, with the Haudenosaunee's creator's game, that is not the case. This game is less like a competition and more like a ceremony. Before the game, the natives respect one another and bring their minds together as one. Natives are not concerned with the overall outcome of the game, and after the game is over, both teams feast and socialize for getting the winners and losers. Lacrosse that is played today is very different from lacrosse that is played in the tribes. Haudenosaunee still use wooden sticks and play using their rules. When I heard Alf Jacques speak, he explained that he will always play the game of his tribe. Hence, there is a clear evolution of lacrosse, from just joy to this money collecting business. But this evolution is inevitable. By understanding the origins of lacrosse, I believe that that is enough to pay tribute to the original game. And it is important to have both games being played today.